During the spring of 2000, in southern Florida, a group of amateur divers were exploring one of their favorite sites in the moonlight. Suddenly they saw the silhouette of a fish in the beam of light, a fish no one had ever seen in the waters of the Atlantic. This unknown fish wasn't alone. The surprised divers discovered that there were many of them. One of the divers believed these were lionfish, but she wasn't certain. Lionfish come from Asia, and until now, no one had ever spotted any in American waters. The diver hadn't made a mistake. Teroes volitans, or lionfish, is a scorpionfish indigenous to the Pacific and Indian Oceans that did in fact travel to the Atlantic coast of the United States at the end of the 20th century. In its native habitat, the lionfish is just a predator amongst many, but here in the Atlantic, it has become the terror of the sea. It devours everything in its path, even the youngest of fish. It feeds on the larvae of shrimp and lobster. In the mangroves or in the reefs, it gobbles up its fellow predators before they're big enough to attack it. Marine life suffers wherever the lionfish flourishes, and the tropical reefs are quickly becoming deserted. In 2009, lionfish reached the coast of Honduras in the Gulf of Mexico. In three years, they colonized the seabed and more specifically the marine park on the island of Roatan. The Honduran authorities, aware of the drastic state of affairs in the Bahamas, reacted immediately. That's what I'm talking about. The government has launched a campaign to fight the invader. Harpoons have been distributed to local populations and underwater hunting competitions are organized all year long. Thousands of lionfish are regularly eliminated thanks to this initiative. But Nick Bach, the park's biologist, isn't satisfied with these results. Some other additional method needs to be found. Hoping to help Nick Bach in his research, Carl Stanley invites him to take a submarine dive. The best way to fight the enemy is to observe it tirelessly and learn more about it every day. This military-style motto is perfectly suited to the war against Terroes Valitans waged by these biologists. In this strange machine that he has built himself, Carl takes Nick further into the depths. They want to determine at what depth lionfish is surrounding the island of Roatan. As they descend, the daylight is slowly absorbed by the darkness of the water. At 250 feet, everything has turned gray. At 500, they're in pitch darkness. They continue their descent down to 600 feet, which is their goal depth. Nick is very focused. He has never been down this far before. You should try to get this. I think he might get a fish here. Hmm? He might get a fish here. I just pinned them all up against the side. Yeah. Oh, there's a big one by that coral. Oh, yeah, there it is. They're like it's hunting. There's all the little juvenile fish there, huh? Yeah. Can I get one? That's a big one. It sees the one it wants. Look at it. That's a good sized fish.
This one seems more to be just hunting, not even minding us being here. Yeah. The many hours of observation have convinced Nick that in order to fight Terroi's Valetans, they must join forces with a natural predator. There's a big specimen. A nice lionfish here. It's all on its own. You might notice there's not really any fish around it. It looks pretty swollen stomach, so pretty much eats everything around it and then moves to another spot. So Carl. Yes. On a normal sub dive? Yeah. When you're kind of going down to a thousand feet, how many lionfish do you think you see? On a thousand foot dive, maybe ten. But you see them, I've seen them as deep as 800 feet, but mostly you see them, you see the most between two and 400 feet. Okay, so they even go down to 800 feet, but most of them are around two, 300 feet. Two to 400. So finding one here at 500 feet isn't abnormal, but they're mostly abundant higher up. Yeah, they're, if we drive along at 300 feet, we'll see just constantly. Are we heading up or what? I'm gonna... Look at it. If this natural predator is to be effective, it must be capable of eating adult lionfish that swim at various depths. Here in the Atlantic, there's only one marine animal that fits the bill. The shark. Giacomo Pallavincini, a researcher and the founder of Roatan's Shark Legacy Project, has convinced Nick Buck that the shark could be the ally everyone is hoping for. The two researchers are going to attempt an experiment in an area filled with sharks. The area is still infested with lionfish, despite last week's hunting competition. The Caribbean shark can measure up to 10 feet, and is the largest predator in the Roatan Reef. But like the grouper and other predators in this part of the world, the shark is indifferent to the lionfish. It doesn't know that this newcomer's good to eat. The fact that sharks are not naturally attracted to lionfish is not a problem for Giacomo. Thanks to Samuel Gruber's work in Florida in the 70s, we know that sharks can be taught. Giacomo has decided to train the sharks in the area to view the lionfish as a potential prey. The shark doesn't appear to be intimidated by the lionfish's spines, the experiment seems conclusive, but many scientists are opposed to this approach. Shark feeding has been controversial for a long time, and also obviously shark feeding with lionfish, because it can change the uh, behavior of the sharks in their natural uh, environment. Now, yes, it is true that it does, everything that we do on the water, it will affect their behavior. Um, introducing the lionfish to the sharks, which is an, a new organism that they never seen before, especially in the Caribbean, has helped because we only did a couple of times, probably two or three months of it. And then after that, we haven't even fed the sharks with them. And it seems that they have recognized the lionfish as a food source without us feeding them to them. So yes, it does has an effect with sharks, but I think in a you know, in a bigger picture, we have helped the reef and we hope we help it for a future, a permanent future. Even if Giacomo Pallavancini is right, which remains to be seen, sharks will only be able to act at best as regulators. Will we ever be able to stop the spread of the lionfish?